welcome to my channel. So we are heading towards Malibu Temple, which is near Malibu Beach. And we are taking the freeway 405 South. And in 40 minutes, we are going to reach to Malibu from Santa Clarita. So look at the weather, it's so beautiful. All oh, this valley is gorgeous, especially in winters. You can see there is so much traffic here. Because yeah, like the weather is good. And everyone wants to travel to LA or maybe Pasadena, yeah, to the, the city side, beach side. And everyone is pretty much with their families here. And you can see suddenly there is like a jam-packed road. And that we have to travel with a speed of 30 miles per hour and welcome to the freeways of california this is how it is travel here especially in a good weather because everyone wants to go outside and so do we so anyway look at that tree so beautiful color <laughs> it's bright pink but in the camera it's not coming like exactly the same this is like kind of old town near santa clarita and now we are about to take 101 north right now we are going to merge on the 101 north freeway and this is going to take us to malibu so this is my first time i'm visiting malibu i have visited uh tupanga right tupanga yeah. state beach which was very close to malibu so the thing was like we went to malibu before like like a few months back and then there was no parking available so we had to settle for Topanga Beach and this guy has no patience at all he just wants to go so I just let him go breaking the traffic rules <laughs> just let him go I don't know where he's going to go anyway it's jam packed but he wants to go so okay go <laughs> so you know you would find all kind of drivers all kind of people some people like to chase you some people like to drive with perfection and some people are so expert in driving you know that they don't even care <laughs> but thankfully the percentage of such people is very less so that's great and yeah it's good to be back near okay. LA right yes like this was the Feels good. this was the freeway we would travel so much when we used to live so in cool. LA. So 101 North and these two routes here are going to Santa Monica. It's kind of confusing. And Ventura County. So yeah, welcome to busy LA. <laughs> it's been a while since we traveled back to LA. Back to LA. So we have moved away from LA, like, and the valley, but definitely LA does feel like home because we were there for like two years. Two years. And it was amazing, especially like the the busyness, you know, like you would find restaurants open until a late night. So if you options. if you want like outside food, you can have it. Oh, anytime. If you're tired, you don't have to worry about night. it. If you want to go grab ice cream, it's open until 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. But in Santa Clarita Valley, it's like everything pretty much closes at around 8 o'clock <laughs> or maybe max 9. And that sucks. So over here is one structure, birds. some hydraulic structure that I haven't seen before. I'm not sure like what that is because I can't see it properly. But it looks like, it looks like some bridge. Or maybe a floodplain they have made with some gates so that if there is some excess water during some flood event, it goes to this floodplain area. Or maybe they might have cleared some part of it, I don't know. Anyway, so there is a lot of construction lot going of construction. on, like freeways are getting widened, oh, sometimes there is maintenance. The 101 will be closed at Balboa at 10 p.m. today. Yeah, like usually they construct after 10 o'clock or maybe in the late night and they, they tell you why are the governmental portals or the traffic uh, 
what do you call it, traffic departments will post on their websites and sometimes google also tells you right the road yeah. is going to be closed so yeah that's a good thing so you can yeah, plan you your trips ahead and, and yeah so it's it's quite warm i mean it's not cold it's 82 degrees it's fahrenheit 80, it's, it's pretty sunny it's sunny and the sun is feeling quite hot and close the sun but the, the sky is not so clear it's looking like grayish blue it's not like 100 percent clear sky humidity is around 50 percent or so i don't know about la but it was like that in SCV so yeah things are looking good so that's a very beautiful Mercedes over there which model is that a GT AMG OMG AMG is like OMG <laughs> yeah I think they found a really uh, nice jingle <laughs> Yeah, I never thought about it because it is indeed. If someone buys an AMG package, it's like or, OMG. Or not just the package, AMG car, because they have two options these days. You can yeah. have AMG package, which is just like yeah, sporty looks. Yeah. Or you can get an AMG engine, yeah. which is handmade by one person. Yeah, that's true. And that's like taking the price to a whole different level. Yeah. Like you can get a non AMG Mercedes Benz GT for around, I guess, 70. And that Mercedes? That's not that expensive. We're seeing a lot of Mercedes Benz. I think What's a lot of on? people, a lot of people in LA like to drive Mercedes. Yeah. Well, that's the norm like all around the world because yeah, like, Mercedes Benz is the OG. Yeah, Luxury it's the car. OG and people go crazy for the star symbol. Yeah, that star is a prestige. It's brand. prestige. But honestly, I mean, I don't feel swayed away with that. But other brands have definitely come And I, I feel that Mercedes is definitely not a car for everyone because like it doesn't suit everyone's personality. There are cars that would suit you much better than Mercedes. Mercedes, I find good on like executive people. And like people who have a very distinct personality, per se very formal or very professional. Uh, even if you take the sports version, I don't, I don't see that. Like, yeah, that's the. Bare and even even the Mercedes like SUVs, I'm not a big fan of those because they look a pretty, pretty odd model. I, I don't know. So like, here's my take. So so from behind, it looks quite high I, I i definitely like like the side view of it like when you see a mercedes passing beside you or maybe in front of you like it's crossing the road or something it looks really good but i feel that mercedes suvs looks like a little bit like tesla right or maybe i should say tesla has taken inspiration from mercedes suvs maybe so wh what do you guys think about it let me know in the comment box below this is like my generic or my general observation so far i've seen mercedes and teslas here so and yeah mark is good but i i only like the sedans like not the suvs that much what do you think about it yeah the only the only brand i have no complaints in either sedan or suvs is like audi like you buy the sedan or you buy the suv like you are never going to feel disappointed with the model you would never feel that oh if you know this would be different it would look good or that would be different that will look good you won't ever feel like that so i think audis have done like great job in their design and in their you know the complete modeling and engine and everything else but yeah like if you want like higher trim it's definitely going to burn your pockets but otherwise i do like you know mercedes sedans and in bmw i don't know like i still don't know like when am i 
be able to buy a BMW or like if I'm going to buy a BMW. But you like BMW, right? For pure I, I like Mini Cooper. <laughs> That's like one car I definitely want to drive, but Indeed. I know it's there it is. it's not of yeah. That's a Cooper. That's a very pretty car. That's a convertible Cooper. So I definitely love Mini Coopers, but the thing is, you know, the utility is very less. If you are someone with a family, if you want to no take your family to vacation or things like that, you cannot trust a Cooper in terms of space. Definitely it will carry you far with that little tank itself, but you cannot like carry a lot of stuff in that. So that's the only pet peeve I have for Cooper. Otherwise, it's the most beautiful car in my opinion. That's a nice GLE, the Mercedes GLE beside me. And I think a lot of Americans like to drive GLE, GLS, and GLCs. Yeah, SUVs are getting Because, yeah, like in America, everything is about big. So, how big can you get? So, what's the biggest? It's GLC, right? G, G it starts with G. Well, okay. So, Mercedes Benz SUV starts with GLA, then they have a GLB, then they have a GLC, then they have a GLE, which is next to you. And then the, they end with GLS, which is okay. S class of SUVs. So the farther you go in the alphabet, the bigger think, it is. I think there's a GLS in front of you. Oh, So you've yeah. seen pretty much all of them. I mean, in terms of space, it's good, but it's good. I don't like the design and out, like it's outside structure of it. Like it's boxy and it, it looks more old school. Yes, GLS. It looks more old school, but that's the thing I was telling. Like when it passes beside you, you feel how big it is. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see it's seven people in it. Yeah, so Depending so you know some cars look pretty when uh, from the side profile. Some cars look pretty from the front profile. Some cars look really good from their back profile. And if you want to go for all things combined, you can go for Lexus. <laughs> Lexus looks good from all the corners, like. It has some good aesthetics to it, it's but the most reliable. but I do I do like uh, Audis too because they look very beautiful from all the angles too. They like look young, they look younger and they appeal to like kind of all age groups. Like even yeah. even if you are uh, you know in your early twenties, you would like them. If you are in your mid thirties or mid forties, you would like them, and it will suit you. So like Audis like like a car that suits kind of all the personality and that's why like in us i've seen like so many people drive audis so yeah, many days, like definitely. like a lot of young people old people mid-aged people i've seen like all kind of demograph related to you know audis so yeah that's definitely a car that you know engineers have put their heart and brain to and I'm not saying that other cars are bad. It's just like a personal bias. I know many of you would disagree with me uh, regarding what I said about Mercedes, but that's my my feeling. Uh, that's my that's how I feel about cars. And I know it's very personal topic. You can definitely feel something different, and that's okay. You know, that's totally fine. And if you talk about like non-luxury cars, I do like Nissan too sometimes. And Mazda. Good car. I like Mazda. Mazda's cars are good too. And Infinity? Infinity is a luxury car. Of? Nissan. Of Nissan. Nissan. Yeah. Nissan, yeah. So, right now, if you talk about luxury cars with the value of money, I would definitely go for a Lexus Hybrid. Because, like, Lexus Hybrid is like a car that provides you space. Like the RX version, not the NX provides space, provides looks, provides colors, provides, you know, the presence, like the road presence, and also... It's an RX. It's, it's a, yeah, that's Every an car you talk about, you have, we end up seeing... Yeah, like, LA is... I don't know, like, how many cars are there in LA? I think, like, everyone, pretty much everyone, million. every adult has one car. No, most 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 like, like, 25 million? There are like million. more cars than people here. Like oh, yeah, easy. in Amsterdam, Bicycle. there are there are more bicycles than people. In LA, I think there are more cars than people. So yeah. I don't think Americans love bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in California. Definitely not in California. Maybe New York. But uh, where 
where we are going like in the city uh, near the Santa Monica area if you go like people love to bike because they can bike there they cannot really drive there because the streets are jam-packed with people all the time there is so much stress if you drive a car there because you are always you know under your stress mode because like what if I hit someone so you definitely don't enjoy driving car in the city where it's densely populated with you know restaurants people walking on the road bicycles skateboarders kids it's scary i would rather park my vehicle and walk or maybe i will walk bike but i will definitely not drive so yeah you have to be very cautious so we are taking the exit to last Regenis Road, Malibu Canyon and it's going to take about seven minutes for us to reach to our destination and it was like very beautiful car so above any German car stands like a Bentley you cannot compare a Bentley to any other car not even Porsche but those are super cars but yeah those are super cars for yeah, like super sure. successful people and and people with good taste i mean even though if you're successful and if you don't have the taste for bentley you would never buy a bentley <laughs> and what's this porsche a porsche yeah porsche cayenne basically. porsche cayenne that's what kate has yeah wow look at this place it's so beautiful yeah, we've never been to this place before yeah the road is so beautiful you know, these Looking are like, like the posh areas, like these are the areas with really high maintenance and beautiful weather throughout the year. So definitely they have to be beautiful. So architects and all those people, they wow, make nice this houses, huh? real estate for like really rich people. That's why they look so different from other communities. It's all luxury apartments. That's all luxury houses. apartments. Like it's for like VIPs. Mm. Only VIPs can afford to live here, so yeah. <laughs> That's the reality. But yeah, it's definitely very well maintained and very beautiful. And it's looking very different from the other parts of the city. Or is that? Even, even I don't know. Oh, that's a Ferrari. <laughs> that's a Ferrari? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Really it looks like that's not a Ferrari, it. that's like some old school car that I don't know what exactly is. Yeah, but it's not Ferrari. Ferrari it's people like don't buy this color usually. They buy like something that looks very different and you can sight them from far distance. And what do you think about the mountains? Oh my god, I love the mountains and the weather is so beautiful. It's 77 degrees Fahrenheit here. I love the road. <laughs> Santa Monica Mountains. Look at these gorgeous mountains. Wow. Beautiful. Really beautiful. see the parking and probably we can show you inside if the photo photography and videography is allowed and the entrance is here and so are the parkings wow so beautiful This temple is really pretty and constant mantras are playing and chantings are there. So pretty. So this is a very beautiful Hindu temple in the city of Calabasas and in California of course. 
um, very close to LA, very close to the beaches. If you ever happen to visit Calabasas or Malibu, you can definitely plan a visit to this temple. I think there is some construction still going on, so there will be like um, more enhancements in the structure. We wanted to visit a temple because it's Navratri and so Navratri is like nine days of celebration of various forms and shaktis or energies of the goddesses and we felt really good visiting this temple. Also we wanted to bring our daughter to a temple and she loved it too. If you happen to visit here, you can definitely enjoy with your family. The weather is always nice. So that was the Malibu Hindu temple and it was really nice. They have that little kitchen where they serve prasad and some dosas, some idlis. It's a very nice place to visit with your family if you're into temples. And now we are heading back home because we are not feeling well after the covid booster shot and we don't want to go to beach in this state because it might be more troublesome for us especially with the baby so we are heading back to santa clarita valley and let's see if on the way we find some beautiful things a beautiful sunset we will capture that for you and i hope you like this vlog and stay tuned so these are the beautiful houses in the calabasas near malibu beach and this whole area is so beautiful even i saw a board there that there is thousand dollars fine for littering that's why this is so beautiful and so clean and one thing I really like about America is that the laws are implemented they're enforced and that's how everyone bows down in front of laws and rules and regulations and that's how you maintain peace amongst the chaos look at the clouds oh. heading back to Santa Clarita Valley it was a nice experience here and we uh, wanted to visit this temple for a long time and finally we made it so we are happy and now back home it's taking 42 minutes from Calabasas and yeah so this was a nice short trip to Malibu in the temple and if you don't know this is uh, the time when it's nine days festival celebrated in India and every Hindu celebrates this festival that is called Navaratri where we worship all the form of goddesses for nine days and it's considered very auspicious time in, the, in any year and after this we will have series of festivals of Hindus and especially the biggest festival of life that is called Diwali so yeah the festive time has begun. The festive time has begun. <laughs> and we're enjoying it, our baby's enjoying it. And we pray to Mata Rani to bless all of us, to all our viewers, lots and lots of blessings and best wishes. We pray for your good health, good wealth, and good happiness. And keep watching our vlogs and keep sharing our vlogs if you like them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet it means a lot to me and thank you so much for being here and take care and bye bye